welcome back to my channel. So, for today's video, I thought I'd sit down and have a little chat with you guys. I kind of just wanted to talk about style, creating your own personal style. Very difficult, especially in this day and age, to really be seen as original or stylish. That's why you came here to me for me to give you a little bit of advice, some tips, and everything just to kind of make your life a little bit easier when dressing in the mornings or for any event really. If you guys are interested then just keep on watching. So I have my handy dandy notebook here that I kind of wrote down six points how to create a style or build on your already existing style with clothes that you already have in your closet because let's be honest we on a budget here we need to get our shit together okay okay so number one and foremost and i start most of my videos off like this is that beauty and style and all that comes from within if you don't feel confident or if you don't feel good in what you're putting on just don't wear it do not wear it i don't care if it's the newest thing if it's fresh off the runway if you got it from alexander mcqueen coco chanel herself like if you do not feel good in it please please i am begging you put it back on the shelf if it's in your closet donate it sell it you do not need it in your wardrobe you do not need anything that is not going to make you feel good at the end of the night or while you're wearing it it looks worse on you when you're in something and you're like <laughs> and like trying to cover yourself up because you don't feel comfortable in what you were putting on in the first place the second thing that you guys need to think about is actually what lies underneath our clothing and that is our undergarments our underwear and our bras let's just put this out there we do not want any lines showing we do not need people to see what is lying underneath of our clothes smooth equals classy if we want to look classy it's half the battle for trying to look good and trying to create your style and feeling good in your clothing please 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 do not show any lines, do not show any panty lines, do not show any bra lines, like we don't, we don't need it. I'm okay with showing like your actual bra, like showing your bra strap, like that's whatever, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying when you're having a tight fitting dress and you could see all the bumps all along here and all on your bum, like we, we do not need to see that. Lacy underwear actually makes for a smoother outline or um athletic wear like if you get like swimsuit material for underwear that's really thin that really helps smooth out any bumps or lines you won't be able to see anything i find that there are about four options that every girl must have in her wardrobe flat out no questions asked so the first one would be um a t-shirt bra which is just your regular bra that just has or fit in more like a t-shirt material it fits better when you're wearing t-shirts so that you don't actually see any like lace or any bulging underneath your clothing the second would be a razorback so ones that come like this in the back and clip at the front there are clips out there that will bring your straps to do that but like personally I find that just having a razor back bra that clips on the front is just easier the next bra would be a strapless and low cut bras I will put them in the same category because they come in handy when you're wearing tops that are just like this that you don't want to see any lines or anything like that you don't want to see any straps at all they're very good just find a strapless bra that you feel comfortable wearing i know for me it took me a long time to find the one that i constantly wear and any sort of sticky bras now those could be like cutlets like chicken cutlets they could be like the little pasties that you just stick right here if you're comfortable not wearing a bra at all they could be the actual like sticky bras that we saw last year like all over the place that like took over the internet they're really good for backless dresses, backless anything, if you just want to just hold them up. 
Okay, the third thing that I want you to do is pause this video right now and go walk to your closet. And as soon as you're there, hit play. I want you to look into your closet because I know, I know you could pick it out right now, even if you're sitting still watching this video and didn't listen to me to go to your closet two seconds ago. You could pick out those clothes that you know that is sitting in your wardrobe, collecting dust because it is either too old you don't feel comfortable in it coming back to my first point or you don't have the right undergarments to wear it with so you're always just like eh. or it doesn't fit with your style anymore you've evolved from the last time you've gone through your closet you don't like the things that are in your closet anymore take them out get rid of them get rid of them right now I am a work in progress do not monkey see monkey do well, as I do because right now I have two only two garbage bags full of the center part of my wardrobe which I'm looking at right now that I still need to go through again because I have a very hard time letting go. Do not be like me. Get rid of the things that you don't wear or you don't like. It will lighten up your closet. You'll have more room for newer things that you will love and cherish and all that other stuff. Okay, so now that we have cleaned out of our closet, cleaned and refreshed, and we're looking, and it's looking a little sparse, to say the least. What I want you guys want you to do is initiate the whole capsule wardrobe, wardrobe initiative. So, for those of you who do not know what a capsule wardrobe is, I'll insert the definition here. According to good old Wikipedia, <laughs> the capsule wardrobe is a term coined by Susie Fox, the owner of the London boutique called The Wardrobe in 1970s. According to Fox, uh, a capsule wardrobe is a collection of a few essential items of clothing that do not go out of fashion, such as skirts, trousers, and coats, which can be argumented with seasonal pieces. So general rules are for you to choose a color scheme that typically involves item colors such as black, white, brown, gray, and or navy. Um, consider your body shape so if you guys want I could do a whole video on body shapes alone but there are many different types of body shapes my body shape may not be your body shape may not be your sister's body shape your mother's body shape your grandmother's body shape your daughter's body shape that's just how the world works and there is a way to dress for each individual body shape I believe dressing specifically for your body shape and finding styles that fit best for your body shape and after that you can go ahead and break that rule but you know you gotta learn the rule first before you break it life lesson you learn first break afterwards consider your complexion such as cuts of clothing colors that are more flattering again another video i could do just so many video ideas I could do one dressing for the color of your skin or specifically for the tone of your skin because everybody has a different undertone and certain things look better with others. I don't want to get too much into that right now, but if you guys want that video, just give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment down below letting me know that that is essentially what you guys want. Obviously classic patterns and obviously having high quality fabric. High quality fabric is something else. I, whoa, there's just so many. You know what? This is just gonna turn into a series because there's just so much to talk about in each subject of that alone. So, with the capsule wardrobe, essentially rung up is that we find basic pieces of clothing that will be able to mix and out, switch in and out of your wardrobe with anything, absolutely anything that is essentially what a capsule wardrobe is so a lot of people who do minimalism uh have capsule wardrobes because they're just essential pieces that they need that they can grab to it can go with anything they could go on the fly on the go and uh so use 
there's something in my eye. So basically, use your capsule wardrobe as a jumping off platform for your style. Um, the next thing I would say, there's still something in my eye. It is important to tailor your clothing so that it actually does fit you the way they're supposed to be fit. So what I mean by that is especially for pants oh my gosh this is like essential for pants if you have a pair of pants but the waist is a little bit meh, it doesn't fit you as right like okay. so your body's like a five but your waist is like maybe a three and you know to get they, they don't they don't make that okay you're either a five or you're a three the three is way too small five fits you perfectly but not on the waist you need to tailor that you need to get somebody to just bring it all in tailor your pants to fit your the length of your pants we don't need to see a bunch of bunching on your ankles okay your ankles aren't too big your ankles aren't too small they're nice show them off or even if you don't show them off have it tailored so it fits on your ankle exactly please 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 we do not need to have bunching on your feet <laughs> I did the deep. folding it 3,000 times isn't helping you it's only going to look like you have a big fat ankle at the end of the day so yeah just tailor your clothing my last my last and final tip is accessorize, is accessories. So that means the jewelry that you're wearing, your earrings, your watch, your bracelets, your necklace. Sad truth, I can't find my necklaces and it's hurting me on the inside. <laughs> yeah, it really hurts guys. Haven't you seen those girls on like Instagram or Pinterest or Twitter or wherever you are on social media? And they're always in sweats, or majority of the time in sweats, to give them the benefit of the doubt. But yet they look so put together, it's unfair. Like it's just unfair how much they look so put together. And yet here I am trying so very hard, and yet I don't look half as put together as they do. Look at what accessories they have on. Majority of the time, they have a layered necklaces. Oh my gosh, layered necklaces are just like everything right now. And it, like, it just looks so good. Yeah, so they usually have like layered necklaces on or they have earrings or they have a combination. They're wearing some sort of wash, some sort of wristband, stuff like that just really heightens an outfit. Handbags, girls, okay. Your handbags actually do matter. They actually add another element to your outfit. If you've never thought about it before, they do. Shoes. Shoes, 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 shoes. Okay, your shoes make a rigging outfit. At the end of the day, you could have the best outfit in the entire world. And then people look at your shoes and they say, what are those? Why does everything else look put together, but yet you're wearing Crocs? I don't know. I don't think anyone wears Crocs in this day and age, and if you do, please throw them away right now. Sneakers. Sneakers, guys. You can have... <laughs> okay, have at least two types of sneakers. You need, like, a regular basic sneakers, training, going out, working out, because, you know, we all about that fit life these days. But you also need like a fashion sneaker and that can be either a white sneaker, a black sneaker, or your more workout sneakers are like white, then, which I don't know why they would be. <laughs> but if they're white, then get a black fashion sneaker. If they're black, get a white one so that you have the dynamic of white and black. You can switch in between those two. Sandals. You need a pair of sandals in the summertime. I'm sorry, but you do. Whether those are flip-flops, whether those are regular sandals, whether those are push-in, like loafers, you need something that's 
a level up from your basic sneaker that's not really a sneaker but it's not a heel because let's be honest we don't want to be in heels every day that is hard <laughs> and then obviously you need your pair of heels i don't care what kind of heel you have i could care less that's a lot i could care a lot what type of heel you have on however the style of the heel is your prerogative whether it's a really really tall heel a short heel a mid-size heel a chunky a stiletto i mean i don't know what you really be doing wearing stilettos in the middle of the day and you're just going to you know the grocery store but um hey two is their own <laughs> just have a nice pair of heels that will elevate a simple jeans and t-shirt look if I said jeans and t-shirt like you're wearing jeans on the top and t-shirts on the bottom anyways a simple jeans and t-shirt look like a heel will elevate that if you're going out to a fancy dinner or a party later like you need to have a heel in your arsenal of weapons of accessories to really you know dictate the type of place that you're going to basically concludes my six tips on how to I guess elevate your style things that you already have in your wardrobe arsenal I hope you guys enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up if you did don't forget to follow me on other social medias and you get to see my words that I have spewed out my guts that I have just spewed my fashion guts that I have just spewed out to you subscribe if you're not subscribed already I bring a lot more fashion content sewing content art content off the top of the dome content yeah a lot of stuff going down over here you should really subscribe so you can keep into the loop and I'll see you guys in my next one okay bye guys Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel and welcome to uh, start in my how to style series. Maybe it's going to be a series. I don't know, there's a lot to talk about here, but um... <laughs>